I was listening to Red Dye, which is also one of my favorite joints on the tape. And, you know, you're mentioning, you mentioned Vaughn and Dirk on it. And something I like to do on the show, I like to keep people's legacies alive through positive memories and whatnot. So, you know, looking back at, at your relationship with King Vaughn, what is one, what is your favorite memory of Vaughn? Or when you think of Vaughn, what is like, I don't know, the memory that comes to mind that you have with him? Man, when it comes to Vaughn, I say Vaughn, the only person that could, uh, that could call me Tussie. <laughs> and I like, I, I like that's just how he talk. Feel me? That's just how he talk. Like, Vaughn, the only person I know that could call me Tussie, and I don't, I like, he don't really offend me, you know. And uh, like he, he, Vaughn, the first person I like. Vaughn, probably the only nigga that could call me Love Folks. Like, and I not get mad. You feel me? Like, that's just you know that was that was big bro. So for sure, like, R.I.P. to him. Yeah, man, long live Vaughn. But thank you for sharing that because that was amazing. And so one of my so one of my boys hit me when I yesterday when I was told him I was doing this interview and he wanted me to ask my, you my fault my fault before before we even go to that too I want to say like okay. with Dirk too even with Dirk like Dirk been real since the day I met him my fault like because you did ask me about Dirk too Dirk been real since the day I met him like Dirk was the first person to ever bring me out to a show wow. like like to ever bring me out on stage you know and, and and ever since then like Dirk like. I really look at Dirk as like big bro, like you know, that's one of the people who I look up to in the rap game. Like, you feel me? So for sure. But yeah, your question, go ahead, my fault. <laughs> now hold on, I didn't realize that Dirk was the first person to bring you out. That's amazing. Yeah, 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 for sure. So we did a show in uh Durham, North Carolina. And he called me like this when I j- first dropped. This is before Love Cycle. Like this was when I dropped a song called Red Lights, and the song was like going crazy. You know, um, he like yo, listen, I got a show in Durham, North Carolina, a uh, homecoming. Homecoming at North Carolina Central, like big show. I'm talking about three to five thousand people out there. You know, he's like, I want to yeah. bring you out. I'm like, I right, bet, like I'm there. You feel me? Like, man, I pull up to the show. He bring me out. You know, woody woo. Everything was lit. Like, for sure, he took care of me. That's that's awesome. You know, I was I've, I've had this conversation with so many people who put out records with Dirk lately. Like, he really just be showing out for for young artists you know what i'm saying like a lot of people like two recent people i've had on the show uh cut them recent tay b florida and detroit they both have singles out with, with with dirk and i'm like that's so awesome how they that like he's you know helping out these young artists and to hear this story it only like is a testament to what he's yeah. been able to do for the culture he, he really liked the goat when it come to that like he like to to you know like how you say he the voice of the trenches like for sure like he definitely gonna reach back 